pretty much on a mission at this point to do every Pixar edit there is. Today we tackle the drip. I'm pretty sure at this point you've already seen it. It's all over YouTube and Instagram. But let me show you the best way to do it. So the first thing you wanna do is open your picture of choice in Pixar. We're gonna to have to cut out our subject by scrolling at the bottom here until you get to cut out. And what I prefer to do here is select outline and just do it myself. So just draw a rough outline around where you're pretty much sure the subject is. Don't worry about getting this too perfect. The software is actually pretty smart. Any holes and things like that, like we see on my arms there, we'll come back for. Once you've outlined completely, tap the arrow. Now look at the bottom here, you see that eye icon? Tap that so you can see what you got. Um, we'll take a look here. It looks pretty good actually from the first go around. There are a couple spaces I wanna get. So you zoom in and clean up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up best I can and come back to you. Once you're done, it should automatically be saved, but just in case you can go up to the top right arrow, tap that, and then save as a sticker and just click save. Now, once you have that saved, go back into Pixar, tap that plus icon, scroll down, and let's open up the white color background. Once that opens, we can go straight in, scroll over and go to draw, open that up, go to that picture icon with the plus at the bottom, tap sticker, then go to my stickers, cutouts, and the cutout we just made should be here. So tap on that and open it up. You're gonna to wanna to size this up appropriately. You don't want it to cover the entire photo because you want some room to edit. So leave some white down there at the bottom and then go ahead and set it dead center. Once you have it placed the way you want it, tap the layers icon at the bottom. Then tap the plus icon at the top, that's the new layer button, and open a new empty layer. And change the blend mode of this new empty layer to lighten. Now close the layers pane by tapping on it again. Now we're gonna tap that photo icon at the bottom again and reopen the sticker panel. Now go up to the top right and you can search for anything. But what you're gonna to wanna to search for is black drip. Of course, there are a million of these. Pick whatever you think looks the best for your edit. A lot of people use this one here with the outline. It's pretty good. For the purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and use it. Now don't spend too much time trying to make this look perfect because we're gonna be getting rid of the parts that don't look good at the end of this part anyway. So you see there, it looks pretty decent. And you see how I have that block left over at the bottom. Well, I'm gonna go into my layers and then I'm gonna go down the layer to where my body is. Then I'm gonna close the layers pane. Then I'm gonna tap on the eraser icon to switch over to the eraser tool. Then we're gonna open up a filled square. And what this is gonna make is an eraser sized square. And you see I have this block of eraser. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and sit it exactly over where I need it to be. All right, take a look at that. We'll zoom out. And that looks pretty good already. Now that we've got that done, it looks pretty good. Now before we go to the next step, open the layers pane again. Make sure you have the top layer selected and then make a new empty layer again. Now close the layers pane and open up the stickers. And once you open that up, this time we're gonna type in sky. Now in here, there's gonna be a bunch of circles that have different pictures of the sky in them. So just take your pick. Once you have your sky in your photo, tap your layers icon again. Now drag the sky underneath the layer that has your body on it. And now we just drag and reposition the sky to wherever we want it. All right, it's looking pretty good already, but we're not done yet. Tap the check mark in the top right, and then open up effects. Once in effects, scroll over until you get to magic. Open up magic and then tap on undead. Now this is always gonna make your photo look terrible and overdo it at first because it's at zero fade. Drag up the fade until it makes sense for your photo. So I think mine looks good here around an 89 fade, but that does change depending on the photo. So you can choose the 89, but make sure you look at your photo first because I've done this with different photos and I get a different number every time. Now my original image is in black and white, so this doesn't really matter much for my photo, but tap those circles right there if you have color in your image and that'll allow the color to shine through. All right, now it's looking pretty good, but we have one more step to go. Tap the check mark in the top right again. Now this step is completely optional. I personally really like the look of a ring going around the whole thing. So I'm gonna go back into our sticker and we're gonna just look up neon. Of course, there's just a bunch of different swirls and things you can use. I already have one picked out, so I'm gonna use that. But of course, go through here, pick out something that you think looks good for your shot. For mine, I'm just gonna go back to recent. And recent, it should be here somewhere. And there it is. So now just drag it on, bring it up to size, and then rotate it to however you think it'll fit. Then once you have it placed, just go ahead and tap the eraser tool, zoom in, and erase strategically. You guys pretty much know what to do from here.
All right, once you got it looking pretty good, tap the check mark there, and then you can always adjust it. So if you go to the adjust tool down at the bottom there, if you don't like the color of it, you can adjust the hue. And the hue just changes the color of that ring you just put on. I like the color I had, so I'm gonna leave it, but of course, put it on whatever you want. Of course, you can mess with the contrast here. I might take that up just a little bit. Saturation's one I almost always take up just a little bit to make that really pop. But remember, you don't want the ring to stand out too much from the rest of the edit. All right, once you have it the way you want it, tap the check mark there, and then tap the check mark again. One last thing you're gonna to wanna to do to this edit is go into the effects, and then go back to FX at the bottom, and then throw on this Dodger. Having one uniform color over everything brings everything together, and the effect just looks dope. 50 is good, 50, 51. Tap the check mark there. Now make sure you save the edits. Go up to the top right, tap the arrow, and tap save as fast as you can when you're done. I can't tell you how many times PixArt has crashed on me after I've done like 30 minutes of work and I nearly cried. I think it's just a bug they're working on. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. Just keep that in mind while you're editing. Save whenever you get a chance. Now that's it for the first one. But for those of you who wanna know how to do the second one from the thumbnail as well, the steps are pretty much identical except for two parts. So I'm just gonna take you guys straight to those two parts. So I went ahead and edited this and got us up to the point that's different. And really the only difference is instead of something that looks like a drip, we're gonna get something that looks more like like tattered clothing. So let's go back into the stickers. And then what you type in instead of black drip is dripping effect. Now there's gonna be a bunch of different ones here. And in this list somewhere, you should find one. There it is. It looks like tatters right next to that one. And you'll see this here. Let's go through and make this lighten. And now just size this up best you can. Oh, and that's a good point right here. So take a look here. I've accidentally placed it and now you can't grab it or move it anymore. So if that happens to you, go into the layers icon and then go up to these three dots and then tap transform on the layer that you wanna change. And now I can move that around all over again. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use just one. In the thumbnail picture, I used two, but I don't think it's necessary to do it this time in the edit. Perfect, I love the way this one looks. And the last different thing I wanted to show you is the sticker specifically that I chose for this, which is lightning. So for this one, all you have to type in is neon. You'll see one here that shows lightning it's like a lightning ring so size that up to the appropriate size i like that you can change kind of the shape of it here so i'm gonna go ahead and change that around and then we'll just erase it where it makes sense and remember what i said you can change the color of it by going into adjust and then hue and i'm going to make it match our background image there perfection let's boost the clarity a little bit and take up that saturation a little bit and again, just like last time, we're gonna go back into the effects, go to the FX, put on the Dodger. The Dodger always looks good on these edits. Then we'll just tap the check mark there. And that, my friend, is all there is to know about the drip effect in PixArt. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link's in the description, like in every video. I'm gonna need you to turn on that bell and I'm gonna need you to subscribe. <laughs> but that is truly everything. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.